Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls. Let's see what message we have for today. Before I get into that, if you would like a personal reading, let's talk about that. Angelsouls444.com. I think people have just been used to sort of uh, stick to the surface stuff kind of readings and they don't understand what I truly offer. What I do offer, especially around this time, we just got past the 1010 portal. You can still take advantage of that energy to bring blessings into your life. Now, when you get a personal reading, we're going to be talking about some of the things that are coming up that you need to be aware of, things that you do need to work on. Or, you know, if it's some message of you don't need to worry so much, things are happening in a beautiful way. These readings help you understand the happenings around you. And if you meditate after you receive your reading, you will continue to have epiphanies. So these are more like spiritual counseling sessions, okay? They can be very valuable if you approach them with the right intention, okay? Now, especially like I was saying, 1010 portal, we're gonna be having the 1111 portal coming up as well. This gets you ready for that ascension jump. By me doing a personal reading for you, channeling messages just for you, you can get ready, you can enjoy your life, you can be free. It's going to take your work, okay? It's not me telling you what to do and giving you instructions on your life, but having some awareness for you, reflecting that back so that you can take charge of your own existence. Angelsouls444.com. The other thing that I have going on would be the lives on the Bright platform. I love them. They've been so good to me. Please check out the description box for any upcoming lives. All right, so there's all that. <laughs> Let's get the card for today. And check me out, I'm on TikTok now. I've been using Reels on Instagram and I have been doing Shorts here on YouTube. Somebody had recommended that before and I'm like, oh, that's such a tough move because with the YouTube Shorts because you can't monetize them. And you gotta understand, this is my livelihood, <laughs> okay? So I have to make decisions. But then I heard YouTube is going to start letting us monetize those um, next year, I guess. We'll see what happens. But I do want to announce to you, if you watch a YouTube short, for some reason, there's like a staticky sound with it. It doesn't happen with any other platform. All the mics do the same thing. I don't know what's going on. So if you do, let me know. <laughs> right? uh, and otherwise, just I'm sorry. Okay. All right. So the card we have here is Breathe Archangel Raphael. So Raphael is showing up and does show up when we have something coming up to the surface through our heart space. So it's usually emotional that needs to be looked at. And this is telling you to breathe through it. So this could be a lot of fear. If you haven't checked out my video about how curiosity can make us manifest something we don't want, make sure you check that out because this will be that kind of energy. Like maybe there's a story out in the world, there's a threat or something along those lines. And we start going, oh gosh, what would the world look like if that happened? Oh my, and then next thing you know, everybody's having that because our energies bounce off of one another. Now everybody's having that kind of response and now what the heck are we doing? We are collectively manifesting something we don't want, okay? So breathe through it and just imagine the world being healed, imagine yourself being healed, okay, doing that. Take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and to release old patterns. That is exactly, we have, we have a full moon and we have 10-10. Okay, that is exactly what we're trying to do. We're trying to let go of these old patterns so that we can re-script our existence. We can bring in the kind of experiences that we want to have now. So if you have been somebody who, I don't know, I'm trying to think of an example, who has, let's say you're non-committal. <laughs> let's do that one. So if you are non-committal and you were just always, you know, exploring your options because you were so afraid to settle down with one person because that would mean real intimacy. That would mean that that person would get to know your secrets. They would get to know who you really are. And if you're not comfortable with that, yeah, you keep sabotaging and throwing good people away for the pick me person, right? Who, what substance is there? Just my opinion, but what substance is there? Like they just want you to pick, once you pick them, they don't care. They, they, 
that's a whole other video. Anyway, <laughs> so maybe you come to the point where you're like, you know what? I'm, I'm at ease with myself. Now I'm ready to settle down. I'm releasing these old patterns of fear. <sighs> For some of you, I feel like you have to to tread lightly if you think you're going to go back to an ex, especially someone who was good and you messed up with them. You better get right with the Lord, honey. <laughs> the Lord, baby Jesus, you better light a candle at a church or something, okay? Because <laughs> like, you better you better make it right if you expect to um, make amends with that person, okay? Example. Anyway, I'm knocking my microphone around. We're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.